So we have double 10 a.m. feed uh, mail ports to the can. This is also a baffled can. There's a baffle under the filter. There's a baffle um, above and under each nipple. Um, so this thing is basically double, tripled, baffled. So we should be um, oil free to the filter is what I'm hoping, especially if we keep the can drain. There is also a drain. Check this out. Oh yeah, get you some right there. Uh huh. There's a drain right there to get to. Very easy. Um, these things are universal. It's got tabs on both sides of the can, so you can pretty much mount it um, wherever you can find a good spot. Mopar fam, I want to share something awesome that we got from Spalab Auto Parts. They hooked us up with a really cool catch can. Check this out. All right, so a lot of people know we've been venting the holly over in the back. Back there with that filter coming off the intake manifold. And that's been working pretty good. All right, daily driving, um, Project Storm is the same way. No issues with oil getting to the filter on that truck. Um, with Frostbite, we really haven't had any issues, but at the track, I have had some times where oil will get up to that filter during back-to-back -back passes, um, and which means I have to clean the filter um, before we run it again, and yeah, that kind of sucks. So with us making a little more boost now out of the Torque Storm, running the 417 air-to-water intercooler, we are going to a really awesome catch can from Spalab. They hooked us up. This is a big filter, as you can see on top. This is 10 AN uh, line. So we have double 10 AN feed uh, mail ports to the can. This is also a baffled can. There's a baffle under the filter. There's a baffle um, above and under each nipple. Um, so this thing is basically double, tripled, baffled. So we should be um, oil free to the filter is what I'm hoping, especially if we keep the can drain. There is also a drain. Check this out. Oh yeah, get you some right there. Uh huh. There's a drain right there to get to, very easy. Um, these things are universal. It's got tabs on both sides of the can so you can pretty much mount it um, wherever you can find a good spot. Now, we also got hooked up from Splab Auto Parts for the AN feed line. Um, as you can see, this is 10 AN line. Uh, we got two lines. We're gonna run a hose. Already got the fittings made up and the hose made up. We're gonna run this fitting right here to the Holly High Ram on the passenger side of the manifold where the old filter setup used to be. And then we're gonna run the other line behind the manifold underneath the manifold and back behind the oil cap here there is another port that we're not actually using currently we just have it plugged where we're going to feed the other 10 a.m line to the can so we're basically going to have double uh vents coming off of that manifold now to vent hopefully the crankcase pretty good to the Spalab auto parts catch can and uh these things also come in uh, polished aluminum and black so pretty good deal very good awesome can for the price and did I mention 10 AN feed may I throw in there so that is awesome big line big hose and uh, yeah so stay tuned uh, we'll keep you updated on that um, but I don't see that being an issue at all guys so I'm gonna get the rest of this hooked up real quick just wanted to kind of show um, the new catch can we got going on here and uh, this isn't no dinky little can this is you know these are a lot bigger than most of the standard ca uh, catch cans out there and pretty you know not only that kind of a fraction of the price too holds a lot of oil um, yeah 
this is definitely more for you know like a racer setup or even a daily setup um, again mount it wherever you can find a spot and uh, it'll do the job so there you go I just wanted to show you the new catch cam we got hooked up with and how we're gonna plumb it so stay tuned I'll let you know how it works after we get some track data on it and everything but I don't see this being an issue um, we're gonna plumb it to the manifold just like I said um, I was thinking about welding uh, fittings to my aluminum valve covers uh, and venting it from each valve cover but I don't know I don't think it's gonna be necessary um, the way the holly is set up so we're gonna try running it through the manifold for now see how that works and um, I don't know if we end up with issues still which I, I don't see happening then we may go to each valve cover but there you have it I'll keep you informed but if you're interested in the catch can the link will be below check them out they got lots of cool stuff they got exhaust cutouts they got all kind of parts they got diesel parts they got diesel delete kits um they got a lot of stuff guys go check them out and the prices are definitely more than fair so as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think and we'll see you on the next one